Hello, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. I think we need a new word that includes morning, afternoon and evening so we can say good more after eve, wherever you are in the world. When you forgive, you win. Is that true? Can I prove it's true? You may actually be wondering, well, how do you actually forgive <laughs> in the first place? Later I'll give you a link to a very popular ebook on how to forgive. It's a direct download, so you don't even have to put in a, an email address in order to get it. Um, it'll show you exactly how to forgive in a very easy and straightforward way. So let's get into it. Normally we think of a winning attitude as something that comes from actually winning something <laughs> in like a sports event, uh, exam results, a promotion at work or uh, something like that. However, if we look more deeply into it, we discover the feeling of winning actually goes much deeper than that. You know, we can develop what we could call a winning attitude. And usually people who are successful and good at winning things have this winning attitude. They have an attitude that they're going to win something somehow sooner or later. And that enables them to keep going, it enables them to keep going through the challenges of life and the difficulties that come up. They just carry on, so if something doesn't go their way, they just keep going. And if you read the stories of people who are successful in business or in sports, they've had many things they did not win. <laughs> many situations where they failed or had to try all over again or lost all their money or didn't win the sports event or what have you. A sense of being a winner is more of an attitude to life than anything else. So you might be wondering, what has forgiveness got to do with this? What has forgiveness got to do with having a winning attitude? But we notice that people who have a winning attitude are very good at letting go of the past. They learn the lessons from the past, but then they move on. They learn the lessons from their experience, or they learn to cope with a difficult situation. They don't get stuck on something seeming unfair or unjust or what have you. They don't let their mind get absorbed in that. They keep their mind and, and attention on what they want, where they want to go, what they want to be doing. So their energy is not caught up in the past and unhappy things that happened and it's not so caught up in even in the present and things that are going on just now that seem unfair or unkind or unjust. They train their mind not to focus on the past and past injustices or even current unfairness and injustices and they keep moving forward. They've got their attention on where they want to go. They don't have their attention on where they don't want to go. So being able to let go of the past and, and be able to, to free your mind from focusing too much in current situations that seem unfair or unjust, we can focus our attention more on what, what we want to be achieving in life and to use our inner resources to move in that direction rather than bewailing what current situation we have. Being able to let go of the past enables you to develop a winning attitude to life and the events in your life. You begin to develop self-mastery so you can decide how you will feel about an event in your life or how you will feel about a situation in your life. You will begin to be able to turn every apparent disadvantage to an advantage or at the very least not let it get you down. If you really feel bad about something, something which has happened to you, um, somebody betrayed you, took advantage of you, or was mean or cruel to you in some way, or you're in a current situation that seems where there's a lot of injustice or unfairness or unnecessary difficulties being put in your way, uh, it could seem very difficult or even impossible to feel like a winner in these situations. But there is a way you can feel like a winner very least can move towards feeling more like a winner. Some years ago, somebody I completely trusted lied to me and betrayed me in a very serious way. It was in a relationship. And because I completely trusted this person, I was not only shocked and pained by what they had done, and I was angry at them about it, and I was blaming them for it. I was also very tempted to blame myself too, for being so foolish as to not see it coming because I, I'd seen various warning signs along the way and I just ignored them. I thought, oh no, I can completely trust this person, it's going to be fine. And, and it turned out they were <laughs> been telling me some very serious lies along the way. 
Eventually they, con they confessed, but anyway, as this was going on, I felt very down and I felt really like a, like a, I didn't realize at the time, but I was really feeling like a victim because sometimes I felt very sad about, about it because it was a close relationship and sometimes I felt very angry about it. And I gradually realized that both those attitudes were a victim attitude. Sometimes I was being an angry victim and sometimes I was being a sad victim. The anger didn't feel quite so much like being a victim as the sadness did. But then eventually realized, well, that's also a way of being a victim because it means that my life or my attitude or my experience is being determined by what somebody else did, by their actions, their decisions and their behavior. And it was affecting me, but it was affecting me too much. I mean, it's natural that to some extent other people's behavior is going to affect us. But it's up to me to decide whether or not this makes me feel bitter and angry for the rest of my life, or whether I'd learn what I can learn and move on. And so, well, how, can I, how could I learn what I needed to learn and to move on and, and do that in a healthy way? And so that's when I discovered that forgiveness really helps. So what I experienced was like when I discovered what's called the four steps to forgiveness, and I'll provide you links to it. When I discovered the four steps to forgiveness, I was able to forgive and move on from that situation. Not only that, I gained insights and ideas and a perception of what had caused the situation and my part of it, their part of it, in such a way that I can see I could see much more clearly how to not create the same situation again. So I actually became less likely to recreate that situation by forgiving the situation than I would have been ever been caught up in anger and resentment and blinded by bitterness. Because these kind of low level feelings tend to blind our perception and not make it clearer. Whereas forgiveness tends to clarify our perception and make it more obvious what the causes were of a particular situation and we find a, a peaceful way of moving forward that enhances our life rather than creating a painful situation that is a, a constant reminder of the mistakes we've made or the, the bad things that other people can do. So we achieve greater self-mastery because we're more able to determine how an event will affect us and how someone else's behavior will affect us. The, the, being able to let go of the past and being able to let go of any sense of injustice and unfairness really helps us to, to have self-mastery and therefore a more winning attitude to the events in our life. So if, if, you, if you think about it for a moment, if somebody has done something that's hurtful to you, they either did it deliberately or they were just not being aware, they were just being a bit unconscious and caught up in themselves. So if they did it deliberately, hurt us deliberately, then that's a very good reason to learn self-mastery so that we can take the stinger of the situation and move forward in the way that works for us and not let our life be determined, not let our future actions be determined in what they did. What they did did not have our best interests at heart, so we don't want to give that power. We want to bring back the power from them and what they did and bring back the power to our core of what do we want to do? What direction do we want our life to go in? What do we want to achieve? Don't make it about them, not making it about somebody that, that tried to harm us. If they just did it as a mistake and didn't mean to harm us, then that's even more reason to, to let go of the situation and to move forward and to reinforce what we want, where we want to be going and what we want to be doing and not being caught up in what happened and so what can you do about this? How can you reclaim your capacity to feel like a winner? How can you feel more empowered? How can you gain some level of self-mastery? So you're the arbiter, of, you're the decider. You're, it's you that chooses how your life is going to be in the direction you're going to go in. One way to do that is to, is to use the four steps to forgiveness. And to use the four steps to forgiveness to free you from the past to help you let go of the past situations. Using the forgiveness can transform how you look at life and events. So it can give you a chance to get a, a better job, a better relationship, a happier life, uh, more success in general, because it frees you from the past and the things that could be holding you back and dragging you down. 
and it frees you so that you can move on in your life and you can and you can move on in a way where you learn from your mistakes you learn wisdom from your experiences rather than just being embittered and pained by your experiences you become wiser from them and you grow and you move forward and you learn that well that's really what life's about it's not about not making mistakes life is not about trying to not fail life is about winning and winning is an attitude and it's an attitude of making the most and the best of the situations you've been in and the situation you are in and the four steps to forgiveness enables you to do that not only have i been greatly helped by the four steps to forgiveness but many thousands of people around the world have used it also it's available free as an ebook in over 25 languages it's a direct download so you don't even have to put in an email address to get it so forgiveness helps you to let go of the pain from an experience and establish a sense of peace, freedom, well-being. Forgiveness helps you let go of the baggage from the past and it could be holding you back and, and then you can discover for yourself that you have the final say in how the events in your life affect you. So that everything in your life, no matter how awkward or difficult or painful, will enhance your life in some way rather than bringing you down. And when you do that, you'll discover for yourself that when you forgive, you win. Because nobody else has to lose in order for you to win. Because you're becoming a better and better version of yourself. You become a better person than the person you were before. And you win the approval of the highest and best within yourself. And that will bring you a sense of peace and joy, which nothing outside you will be able to bring you. So when you win the approval of the highest and best within yourself, you less and less need the approval of other people. You see, there is a, a downside to the current obsession that many people have with success and with winning. And that is that they're often looking for approval from something outside, from somewhere outside, from, from other people. And that's all very well, that's understandable. But what about needing the approval of somebody much more important? And that is meeting the approval of the highest and best within themselves, of their own highest values, of their own highest beliefs, and living by them. And that's the most important form of winning there is. And to achieve that form of winning, we need to be able to liberate ourselves from the lower aspects of our mind and its habits of resentment, a sense of injustice, a feeling entitled to something, feeling self-righteous, a feeling judgmental of other people, of a tendency to be to hate or to envy or to be jealous of others. And the more we free our mind from those habits, the more we begin to really truly have the approval of our own and our core. And that will bring you a, a sense of fulfillment and joy and happiness that nothing outside will ever bring you. Because many people who've who have achieved success in life and that other people would consider as very successful and a winner are actually not that happy because they've not done that. They've not won the approval of, of their own best self. They've not won the approval of the highest and best that's in them. So they can't find contentment. They can't find peace of mind. And contentment and peace of mind come from approval of your own best self. So, be you, be your best, be your best self.